Good, hello everyone, and welcome to today's vlog. I am on a bus in Korea with this kid. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we are currently on our way into Seoul because he needs to get his iPhone fixed. Um, so really exciting stuff, guys. I just borrowed Chase's phone to look something up because my phone doesn't work in Korea unless I'm on Wi-Fi. And I just happened to notice that one of his pages that he had pulled up <laughs> was... <laughs> he Googled the etymology, which is like the word origin of Mithril, which is, the, is that the armor from Lord of the Rings? Yeah, well it's actually not an armor. They make armor out of it, but it's a precious metal in the world. I just want you to, I just wanted you to see what you're dealing with. And this is what I, I just wanted to make sure that you knew how big of a nerd he is. It is good word. It's beautiful. So for our very first meal in Seoul, we are doing the most traditional thing that you can do and having Mexican food. <laughs> Not as graceful as I thought it was going to be. I feel like kicking it's going to come back to you. Well, that would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who owns this plaza? <laughs> who does it better? <laughs> Ooh! I gotta say, that is in fact the coolest bathroom door that I've ever seen. Uh, also, another random thing about bathrooms that I've noticed in Korea, they are amazingly covered. Like, you don't have inch wide gaps where people can look in at you while you're taking a poo. It's actually private, whereas in the States, most of the doors don't even lock, and if they do, people can see you anyway. So, they're straight creeping in on you. They're like, hey girl, you trying to pee? Hey girl! <laughs> so, we are currently walking around Gangnam, and so far, I haven't seen a single person doing the dance. I'm a little disappointed. Where, when are they gonna come out? When is the flash mob They're gonna come out? In the corners and at do... dusk, they come out. And they just surprise <laughs> when, you. When is the everywhere. dance? Could the horses come out? <laughs> Everything. It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm going to uh, commission Chase. I'm gonna get him to help me keep an eye out for K pop stars. Because you guys know how much I love K pop. And they are basically everywhere, like on billboards and in front of like buildings for advertisements and posters and everything. So but we're not looking we're for the actual find. people. Oh, well, we could look for the actual people too, but I doubt they'd be walking around here by themselves. Oh my god, this is actually the best thing I've ever seen. Not the top of that dude's head, the SM Town thing. So actually, uh, I have a quick question for all of you nerds slash Apple geniuses out there. Chase bought his iPhone 6 in the States, brought it here to get a SIM card in Korea, and it does not work. Like, phone calls don't work, he even took an engine's carrier, they replaced the SIM card, and still will not make or receive phone calls. So if you guys have ever had this happen to you, and you know why this is happening let us know because he really doesn't want to have to wait till he comes back to the states to replace the phone if you guys have any idea because I don't because I suck at technology uh, let me know in the comments or just link me to something on Twitter or whatever and we'd really really appreciate it okay and also just a quick side note the phone is unlocked and all the other data works like web browsing messaging all that it's just exclusively like voice that doesn't work so yeah babe is this your worst nightmare this is just a mistake. <laughs> Everything is just like music videos of everyone who's a part of SM Town and it's making me really happy. There is an SM Town studio. You can get like hair and makeup done. There's a cafe. The entire store downstairs was full of not only products that are like you know about the band but it was also a collection of all of the artists top picks so like bags socks lip and skincare and like candles that they love it was crazy i can't believe i'm about to eat an exo ice cream show me it what's in it uh vanilla and dark chocolate apparently so. <laughs> i like how you're getting like so quiet you're like any unboxing. if anyone in here hears me I can't. I have to, I have to i'm gonna show this to all your friends exo okay. ice cream unboxing <laughs> this is an official unboxing video. We're also sitting at a table that you know from Toshinki signed, so boom. Does it taste magical and fantastic? It tastes sexy. Is the K-pop coursing through your veins? Delicious. Sexy, sexy, sexy. Tastes like Korean happiness. Alright, I gotta hand it to Che. He was a very, very good sport for going through that with me. <laughs> now we're doing my basically all-time favorite thing to do. I don't drink coffee when I'm in Korea. I drink bubble tea or boba, gongcha, all the way. If you're ever in Korea, you need to go to gongcha. I think it's, is it a Taiwan based company? So amazing. Earl Grey bubble tea. Forget it. Forget it. So we just got back to Chase's apartment and I need to officially introduce you guys to his cat. Her name is Nuna and she's adorable. Well, I don't even remember her story. You adopted her, right? Nuna. She's... 
playing with the camera string. Tuna, we're talking about you. Give me a second. So a friend of mine found her and my friend had a cat. So she asked if I could watch Nuna. She was like maybe a week and a half or two weeks old. She's like, can you just take care of her for a month? We'll find a new home for her. And I was like, all right, sure, I'll take care of her. But a couple weeks later, like, Yo, know, she was yours. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you. Not only did I want to introduce you, but I also wanted to show you the funniest thing in the world that this cat does, which is play fetch. Do you want death? Death thing? Give me now. You want death? Ready? Get it. Bring me that, Nina. Bring it to me. Well, oh, she gave it to dad. Do you want death? Death thing? You want death? Nuna, bring it to me. Bring me that. Bring me that. Good girl. Bring it to me. Good girl. Get it. Bring it to me, Nuna. Bring it. Bring it here. <laughs> oh, you dropped it halfway. So yeah, she's basically the friggin' cutest cat ever, and she's so funny. She will do this for hours. She will play fetch forever. No, no, you left it right here. The thing? You want that? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, she's basically uh, the friggin' cutest cat ever, and I love that she plays fetch. She acts like a dog, and Chico acts like a cat. You know, he like rubs his face on stuff. We just both adopted really weird white animals. I don't know. That's just kind of how it happened. Are you showing off now? Nya na, tia na. All right, guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching our. Day one of adventures around Seoul. There will be many more of those. I just wanted to remind you that if you missed my Kentucky videos, those are gonna be in my travel playlist. So please don't forget to check those out because there's some pretty crazy stuff in there. All right, say goodnight to my sleeping companion. This is my smaller and slightly crazier Chico. That's even possible. All right guys, thanks again for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Love you, Good night.